By the way, speaking of Martin Luther King, Joey, do you have that thing with Vody Balcom by any chance? Uh, yep. yep. I don't know if you've got that thing or not, but I do. This was Vody Balcom at a Q&A. Just, I, I think this got sent to me, so I'm not looking to beat the horse, but here's Vody Balcom. There was a man who has a monument now in Washington, D.C. That man was a neo-Marxist and a socialist and a pastor and a tremendous orator, and his name was Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He was wrong on the gospel, and he was wrong on worldview as a liberal Marxist socialist. But he left a tremendous legacy. Among that tremendous legacy is another pastor who bought into his neo-Marxism, who is more of an open Marxist than King ever was, who has identified himself as such, who taught black liberation theology faithfully for a long time. And for 20 years, he taught that neo-Marxist black liberation theology to a man by the name of Barack Obama. And now that man is in the White House doing what his pastor discipled him to do, which was exactly what he saw modeled by the leaders in the generations before him, one of whom now has a monument in Washington, D.C. These things don't happen by accident, and they don't happen overnight. What do we do with that? We recognize that. Did Vody just say that the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. regarding rights issues is didn't actually happen? Didn't? No. Mm -mm. Once again, this, this comes back to discourse, and it, it hasn't been great lately especially in light of the MLK 50 business that took place with the Gospel Coalition.